M0FXB. Welcome back to my scanner learning videos. On the left, we've got the ICOM RC15. On the right hand side, we've got the Uniden Bearcat 125XLT. Now, these are both very good scanners, but also completely different. As you can see, the ICOM has that nice color screen, which is the dual screen. So you can scan on the A band and the B band at the same time. So you could be scanning your, you know, the airplanes that fly over. And on the B section, you could scan your local ham radio repeaters, which is great. Now, the reason the Bearcat scanner is so good is because it covers so many frequencies. So if I read what they've got here on rig picks, it says 25 to 88 megahertz, 108 to 174, 225 to 512, and 806 to 960. I know they've brought out a new model that also has DMR. And the unit then has what they call close core. So if there's a strong signal near you and you've activated that, it will pick it up as long as it's within its frequency range. Now, the downside, I think, to the unit then is that it's been around a long time. It's a bit, I suppose it's a bit old fashioned looking. Although when I use it, it's got rechargeable batteries in here, which only take about an hour to charge, I feel. I feel. And they last quite a while. And it's quite nice to you, even though it's a bit, retro it's quite nice and it's a big screen so i like using it it's a nice scanner you take it out and you tune it to the you know you have to load up the frequencies that you like there are preset frequencies in there but they tend to be from a either a scan range say 130 megs to 150 megs or you can set um you can there's a, there is like military band air band in there marine band in their preset so that is actually really good i do like that I haven't actually used the RC15 yet, but I will talk about the, you know, the frequency range. So it says here 76 to 108 megahertz. That's for broadcast, so wide FM. Then it says 108 to 500 megahertz for the scanning part. And of course, they do narrow FM, wide FM. It is only AM FM. The upside is that it's got Bluetooth. And that's I'm going to test that and see how good that is. And it's a very fast, sensitive scanner. It's, it, so I'm not really sure why they decided to limit it in this way. Maybe they wanted to keep the price at a certain level because it is quite quite a low price for quite an advanced scanner. I mean, it's like £430 delivered. Now, you've got the R30. And I'll, I'll play their promotional video here on AliExpress. But these are like a £1,000. But yes, they... And it even says it covers D-Star and NXDN. And I take a look. This is their promotional video. So you've got SSB, USB, it's showing there. DMR, D-Star, NXDN. So the only other thing I've seen like this is the Elinco one. And what's the other one called? The AOR DV10. But, and of course, these are, you know, to have a, a receiver that covers all this made by ICOM as well. This is a fantastic receiver, but it's a thousand pounds. I feel like ICOM decided to just keep the price down. I'm not sure how long this video is that they've got here on AliExpress. But yeah, it's just going round and round. And you can see the price there. It's that plus tax plus delivery. So you know, many have said, oh, the, the RC30 is the one to go for. The R30 is the one to go for. I completely agree. It's a, to me, it looks like a, a better scanner, but it's over twice the price, over twice the price. And that's the key thing to remember that with the RC15, you are getting a high end, high quality color screen scanner, which is if you're into airband and ham radio and, you know, you want to listen to your favorite broadcast channels, is I think it's going to be it's good value myself. Um, the other thing I would say is well, you could get yourself a an Icon 52, which is going to cover many of the bands. I mean, there's always a learning curve with uploading all the frequencies. <clears throat> there's no quick way of doing that. It takes time and takes learning as well. Scanners do not work like CBs, and they do definitely do not work like ham radios. Yeah, there's a whole new learning curve, and it's hard work. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Seven three.